Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we went to the Dotted Hole, which is a very suggestive sounding name for a place. And found a sapphire. Yeah, we found jewels in there too. Ugh. But anyway, in this episode, we're gonna run into a random encounter. We're going to head back to the Five Isle Warehouse. Now that we have both of the passwords, either being yeah, yeah, chancy, they're both palindromes. I've had to actually have people write me that in a message, though, because I'm such an idiot and I don't know that myself. Uh, let's see if we can run from this. Come on. Let's see if Slave can run. Come on, Slave, run! Ooh, times four weakness from something that's 35 levels higher than you. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. Oh, well, that's what you get for sucking. And... okay. Uh, Pidgey, you're gonna die a painful death just because I feel like making you die a painful death. It's not because you killed Slave, honestly. I'm glad that you killed Slave. Why would I be mad that you killed Slave? I don't know. Why would I? Seriously. Eh, whatever. I look like two steps! Oh, it's Evolve Form's come to get revenge. Yep, I showed his evolved form, what for, yeah, it was so violent that I had to cut it out of the video or else it was going to get pulled off of YouTube. Okay, okay, so I ran away. Golden Meat Log. I still can't believe I never got those repellent Now for the Rocket Warehouse. Go up. Yeah, we have another one of these puzzles. Joy for that. Ah, uh, these sliding puzzles are just... They can sometimes be just a real pain in the butt. They're a staple throughout the Pokemon series. What do we got here? There are many Pokemon located in the pen. An upgrade! If you equip that to a Porygon and trade it, it'll evolve into Porygon 2. Uh, Porygon 2. You want to sell them? Oh, you wanted a battle? Uh, uh, another jerk, of course. Oh, you wanted to sell your Pokemon? Oh, wait, you wanted a battle? Oh, okay. This is Houndour here. This is actually a, kind of a unique Pokemon right here. It's one of the uh, few Pokemon that was a second generation Pokemon that in Gold and Silver you could only get in Kanto. So I always thought that was pretty cool. Well, not really cool though, but just really weird like how Houndour could only be caught in Kanto despite it being a Johto Pokemon. At least in Gold and Silver it was that way. And there I go talking about games that aren't going to happen until later in the timeline. I'm basically like... I'm like being a psychic talking to you from the future right now to this character that I'm playing as right now. And I really gotta quit using recoil moves. Those aren't good for me. <laughs> ah, sure they are. I like how, uh, I think in, like, the Japanese version, uh, Double Edge is called, like, Life Risking Tackle or something like that, or High Risk Tackle. I, I don't know. I always thought that was kind of a cool name. Uh, uh, I'm going to pretend that this is the right way. Uh, I'm going to pretend that I went the right way. Oh, uh, poo. I really don't know which way to go. Uh, I think I just went in a big circle. Well, at least I got an item in the process. I got a pearl. Where's a diamond? I'm just making some really weird jokes this time. And... I'm going to go with this one again. Uh, I hate these sliding puzzles, though, because they're just all trial and error. And I'm not really a big trial and error guy. Let's try this one. Okay, I think that was the correct one. Uh, let's go with this. Actually, no, that just, took me to, that just took me to an even smaller circle. Wonderful. Let's try this one. Actually, no, that was the one I just tried. Hello, I'd like to order a pizza. So that's what I had to do. I had to just stop and then walk. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this item that's up here on this tip. Wow, I couldn't position myself to get an item. Sludge Bomb, that's actually a pretty good poison type move. Just head down here, and we got a required fight right here. Got word about you from the others. No way a kid like you could knows about our boss. Uh, no way a kid like you. There's no boss, Giovanni. He gave up because I beat his ass, and your Pokemon are like higher level than his are. I mean, uh, 
I always love continuity of levels in Pokemon. It's kind of like how the continuity of levels in the anime are just, like, really, really bad. Uh, and Arcanine's going down. I really overestimated Arcanine's power right there. I always forget that Hypno has, like, a ton of special defense. Alright, so Firo. Firo's gonna get some action here for, like, the first time in, like, a bajillion years. So let's go ahead and just drill peck it to death. You know, Firo's back sprite's really... Uh, voice... Voice will not stop cracking in my comments. Like, uh, 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 uh. But Firo's back sprite is just so weird. I mean, look at that face. It's just weird. I mean, like, after, like, staring at it for so long throughout this LP, I noticed that. Just, Firo does such a weird face when you look at it like that. I mean, look at, like, the form its beak is and just how weird, oddly shaped its head is and its neck. It looks like it's already been cooked, like a duck. And... Of course, he swaggers me. Swagger is just so annoying. Come on, now don't attack yourself, please. Thank you. Okay. I said please and thank you. I'm turning into a nice, upstanding young man already. Hooray. I said hooray. Don't you dare laugh. I have two words for you. Ha <laughs> ha! And another required fight. What is the laser rockets? I don't know if he's doing his wrong, but my faith in Giovanni can do as I'm told. Put your faith in somebody who isn't even around anymore. I make it sound like I killed him. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe the shock from having him beaten so badly by his level 50 Rhyhorn. You know, maybe that was... I don't know. I still thought that was really a cop-out. Well, not really a cop-out, though, but just really disappointing, though. Like, how you have... This guy is like the boss of Team Rocket. He's got a level 50 Rhyhorn that he sells in the vault. Oh, why would a muck have that attack? kind of funny, when they first introduced Rock Tomb, I remember, like, thinking that, like, it would paint a red X on them. WHY DO YOU HAVE A HYPER POTION? YOU'RE NOT OF ANY SIGNIFICANCE! Well, actually, technically, this trainer is of significance. I will not say anymore, you'll find out in a... Man, never mind. Those of you that are huge Bulbapedia reading nerds like I am, you probably already know what I'm talking about. Please just beat him. Ah, Firo! Why do I keep just. Well, not failing though, but jeez. What is it with these people and their items? I mean, you're not even a gym leader! Well, then again. Uh, I shouldn't say spoilerific things for those of you who don't know of certain upcoming games, so I won't. Arbok. So we have a Muck and an Arbok so far. We're just going to totally destroy them with Psychic, though, because that's what all the cool people do. And like I said, when we were headed to the Pokemon League, there is no Arbok that's going to survive Psychic, plain and simple. And if it survived it right there, I was going to, like, scream at it. The little thing about Arbok is how uh, in each game, they always make the pattern on its belly look somewhat different. A lot of people don't notice that, though, but they actually do. And a Vile Plume. Yeah, we have an Arbok, uh, a Muck, an Arbok, and a Vile Plume. Pe remember that team. Remember that team when you're playing upcoming Pokemon games, and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a really cool theory thingy, Majigger. And I like how there's a Team Rocket admin though that has the exact same sprite as just a regular Rocket Grunt. Uh, anyway, though, he's trying to believe some morals. I understand now. I made it so you can come back through here. Why don't you get rested and refreshed for what lies ahead? The admin outranks me thoroughly as a trainer. You better steal yourself for one harsh challenge. Steal yourself? I can't steal myself! I have. I can only kidnap myself. Oh, never mind. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and heal up, alright, though, so we're gonna prepare for the battle against the admin, alright, though, so. Next time on Pokemon Fire Red, epic battle against the admin of this rocket warehouse. See you guys then.